So hey guys, today I just thought we'd take a look at putting this throttle control that just came in back on this GoTrax G2 scooter. In a previous video, we looked at troubleshooting and we found the problem to be in the throttle control. This is the replacement that I chose because it did come with a very similar connector and the polarity as far as red and black seemed to be right with a middle signal pin. And of course I could have bought a different type and soldered it in if I had to. I don't have these connectors around. They are pretty neat connectors. So I'll share a link to this below in the video description. This one was about $18 at the time of this video. It was more expensive than one more similar, but of course through Amazon, this was no shipping. So, and I got it a little bit quicker to get it back to my friend at work. So I guess, first of all, we'll hook it up and we'll make sure that the fault does clear. We definitely have to observe our polarity here and be very careful. It's not keyed. The way here, this battery pack can only go in the one way. And I think we mentioned this in the last video here. We have to make sure it says minus. Pin one is towards me here. I'll flip it around this way. And it's going to pop when it charges the capacitor. You may have saw a small arc there. It is charging up this cap right across the DC bus. Then we hook up this new one. And power it on. We'll probably get an E2 fault though because I don't have. We're getting an E2 fault. Okay. And there we go. We got zero, zero. So I'll bring the meter over just for a comparison. We're getting five volts across our red and black before. We're getting 4.3. So we can tell the device is connected here where it wasn't before. And then across the middle pin, we're getting zero. And now we're getting 0.9. I might have to at least just slide it on here temporarily. And across the blue and the black are 0.9. Yep. Mm -hmm. We're getting a signal. Awesome. All the way to like 3.2 volts. Cool. All right. While I was testing this, it kind of concerned me that the throttle was sticking, but as we look at it, I believe it's just the head of this clamp sticking up. Yep, that's all it was, so nothing's faulty with it. Just wanted to double check that. So let's get ready to reassemble here. This goes like so. It's neat how these just slide on the tube like so. So go under that ring. And I mentioned in a previous troubleshooting video that you could probably use a pull wire when you pull the old one out and put the new one in without taking this all apart. It's very possible, but I believe it's much easier to do this as we were just trying to troubleshoot it and see how it's working anyway. So let's take the battery back loose here. Yeah, so many wires coming from the top of the console. But it's not the easiest place to snake it through. And you can see there, it's kind of tight, but I believe you could, I believe you could do a pull wire if you wanted to. Just take your pull wire and hook it to when you first take it loose. Tape it really well with a taper so it don't stick and grab and with some electrical tape and just pull it through. Of course, just remembering that, that this is gonna be blocked as well. So it's gonna be pretty tight. It's gonna be a tight turn for sure. But it, it's at least plausible, not possible to do it that way. We just gotta put our headlight connector through. Of course, with the lineup pins on correctly, um, you don't have to worry about centering it up. That's automatic.
the long one goes in the middle. And we got four others. That one has a bigger head and it goes on this one for the connector along with the washer. It's almost discharged all the way. That's just for our headlight. Here's our charging port. I want to forget to do that. This should be the one for our brake throttle. Silver, silver. And this is going to be the new one. Looks like it sits in the groove on the cover better. This is going to be a two millimeter. Even though it's rubber, it is kind of keyed where it goes in this groove and it don't twist easy. And there we go. So let's insert the battery. And it's gonna plug into the motor, the hub motor and plug in place. That's pretty cool. There our handle and our console assembly. Slides down and plugs into that. We use a four millimeter wrench to put these taper heads back on. That holds the console in place, as well as mounts the little hook back on here. Make sure we tighten these up well. Not able to do it on a plastic, but just have it snug so the handle's not loose. Look at there. See if I can uh, make the hub motor kick off. Yep, there we go. Cruise set. Job's done. So I will have a link in the description for the accelerator that we used in this video. Like I said, there's many out there. Some of them, the connector is not the same, but I, I believe as far as the Hall sensor, it still work. But without paying shipping, the price wasn't terrible. You can find them cheaper. You gotta pay shipping as well. But I'll also have some links in my description, like I do in all my videos, of just some interesting items and tools that I find helpful on my workbench. Usually those are affiliate links like Amazon affiliate links. So any of those you click on does help support the channel and I greatly appreciate it. So I hope you found this video helpful today on this GoTrax G2 scooter. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching and God bless. So check out Thrifty Tool Shed on Odyssey now and support us on there as well. It's a pretty cool new platform.